Welcome back to the Tide Grim Hangar. This is Mike. Happy Friday, everybody. Hope everybody is doing well. Today we're going to talk about the 1984 Masterpiece Guide. And yes, I've done guides like this. I've done Autobots, Decepticons, I've done subgroups. But it's been asked of me to do like Season 1, then Season 2, and that go in that direction. And I think that it makes the most sense to just go by the year and go chronologically. So we're gonna do that. This is pretty much everything right here that we're gonna take a look at in this video. I'm gonna tell you my top choice or choices for each one of these. Coming up. All right, the way we're gonna do this, we're gonna go straight down this list, the 1984 list, and we'll knock it out. I'll tell you what I think. And of course I will want to know what you guys think in the comments below but let's go ahead and get started with this i want to be most up to date with that of course this is still just my opinion the three top contenders on the left is mp44 and i'm not talking about the ko's the official one the official one has amazing paint it looks fantastic in the bot mode little kibbly in the alt mode on the right is magic square now this one is the metallic repaint but it's the kind of the toy one this is the toy version i think it's ex but I actually prefer the second one, which is kind of a repaint, and that's, I think that one's called the metallic repaint. This one's called the EX. But either way, those are great molds. Fans Toys is in the middle, and it is not out yet. It's not released yet. There's no telling when that thing's going to come out. So if you want to get something right now on your shelf, I suggest either MP44 or Magic Square. You could get the KO of MP44 also, but it does not have paint. It's all bare plastic. So keep that in mind, and Optimus Prime probably probably talked about this to death, but there are three great options. Will Fans Toys actually win in the end when theirs comes out? I don't know. That Magic Square one, it's a pretty good mold. It is. And MP44, aside from the crazy transformation, it's also a good mold. Some people have had issues with their MP44, the official one that you're not seeing so much on the KOs, but I have no problems with my official mp44 at all next on the list is the megatron and i have to point out that megatron is it's kind of old all these are old molds mp36 came out then no more third parties came out i had a poly on it first but mp36 i still feel is the best it's not perfect could magic square make one and beat it yes but right now mp36 is the best good thing about it is there's a lot of different ko's a lot of different variants of ko's on there and they have Toy House Factory, which I think is a good one. There's a shiny one that's called Magtin. And then uh, there's others out there. But they're on the right, DX9 Mitron, I would rate that number two. Then I would say Apollyon number three. And I've never handled the Despotron, but everybody seems to love it. But I'm really just looking at the looks. And there you go. You can see what's going on there. They're so old. It's all compared to MP10. So next on this list is Soundwave. What Soundwave would you want to go with? And I'm going to say, in my opinion, the clear winner is Fans Toys or Robot Paradise, the RP01, and their cassettes. Except for, uh, I actually like the MMC cassettes more. So we'll look at that in a second. But the Bird, so Laser Beak and Ravage, those would be, in my opinion, the best one to go with would still be the Fans Toys on the Birds. Now, the MP13, Takara, it's an older mold. It's not bad, but I always kind of had a problem with like the midsection and how the thighs look and a couple of other aspects to it. It just feels much better getting the Fans Toys one, the Robot Paradise. If you have them both in hand, that one looks great. There's also a knockoff of that one. So there's a KO of it, which I might be making a video that I will title Fans toys fans toys k over because i don't see any more ko's coming from fans toys which i had a list of things i wanted to see but i'm not seeing them anymore but anyway with this i definitely say for soundwave to get the fans toys also they're making a sound blaster with a rap bat of course coming down the road i've got that pre-ordered now it kind of depends on what you want but I, I like the scale of mmc's cassettes better except for their birds i don't care about the birds it's just too big but these are full-size cassettes and they look a little bit bigger and it feels like a much better size scale comparison. So they're Ravage, they're Rumble, and they're Frenzy. 
all of those, I really like the MST better. Although, I will give it to Fans Toys. That paint is magnificent on those figures. But the mold themselves, what I like the most looking at my shelf, yeah, I like these. MMC. All right, next up, we're going to get into some mini bots here. So we're going to look at Braun, and I believe it hands down the best Braun is Fans Toys. I never, ever liked the Bad Q Brawny. I bought it reluctantly after passing on it and passing on it and passing on it. I eventually bought it, but I couldn't wait to get rid of it as soon as I got this, and I'm so happy to have gotten this one and gotten rid of that one. So I would say aesthetically it works really well. I didn't have really any issues with mine. It does kind of seem like in the alt mode, the lower panel on the bottom doesn't sit quite flush. That's the only issue I had. And with that, I think it's a very interesting way that they turn this into Outback. Great looking figure. So next up, we're going to get into Bumblebee. I know there's been a lot of third parties. They're real early attempts, so they're extremely old and outdated. I still feel like to this day, and even this picture is not as flattering as it could be, but I still like the 2.0 Bumblebee the best. Now, if Fans Toys comes out with one, then I would probably pick that one. We're going to see Cliff Jumper. But here's the thing. I never liked the 1.0 Bumblebee. I thought he was too pudgy, just didn't match the character. And the 2.0 came out, and the pictures look kind of funny in hand. I like it a lot. I, I like the one. So the left is the 2.0. The right is the 1.0. I like the 2.0. And let's also say I like the alt mode better for the 2.0. I'm not getting into all the alt modes, but I think when it matters, it matters. And this is all up to you. Do you want it to be a real world Volkswagen bug? Or do you want it to look like the cartoon closer to Penny Racer? Penny Racer? Racer? And so the bottom one is a 2.0, top one is a 1.0. And that's, that's up to you, which one you like the most. All right, getting into Cliff Jumper. And by far, Fans Toys is the best option. The only drawback that really can even be brought up is the the middle section right above the pelvis, below the chest. Just looks a little bit weird the way they have that in there. That's a very minor issue out of everything. I think it looks fantastic. And you can see there's a lot of competition that came along. That Ace, which is right next to it, and MMC and x Transbots. But see, when I got the x Transbots one, I thought it looked the best of the... It's like the top of the crap pile was my opinion. And Fansways did it right. I'll give them the credit where credit's deserved. Fansways did it right on this figure. They do implement a faux chest and that, that bothers some people. I don't care. So I think it's an amazing looking figure. And when they do their Bumblebee in this similar style, it's going to be the best Bumblebee in my opinion. Of course, it's all about my opinion. What's yours? Next up, we got Fans Toys Gears. Gears, I think Fans Toys Variator is the best. The Bad Cube one is still a great option out there, but just the Fan Toys one edges, edges it out just a little bit. Well, a lot of it. It's got more die cast, it's smoother lines, and it's seven years newer, and so enhanced engineering. The Bad Cube one, though, held its own. It reigned supreme for the longest time, but this one wins Fan Toys, and it is pretty awesome. Uh, I don't believe they actually had the chip that goes in it but bad cube did you know the whole personality chip because he's got a great personality so next we're going to get into huffer and i gotta say that this is another bad cube versus fans toys and it's tough it's tough i'm gonna give it to fans toys but i don't think bad cube's a bad option it's not a bad option at all and it did reign supreme the longest I like the proportions of the Bad Cube better, but the paint, the presentation, everything of the Fans Toys is way better than Bad Cube. And they did go with those shoulders so low is actually screen accurate. It is cartoon accurate. As goofy as it looks, it is cartoon accurate. They stuck to their guns and they did it. So I would have expected Fans Toys, especially Fans Toys, to have given a little bit more heroic proportions than they did, but they did not. They stuck to that the screen accuracy and with that it still looks great it's a fantastic one it is the one in my display and i'm actually getting used to the arms being so low his shoulders being you know halfway in his torso next up we got wind charger and i got a long list of wind charger options so just bear with me the entire list is x transmit 
<laughs> that's it. I'm sorry. I apologize if it bothers you that that's the only option. It's the only option. Now, it's not a horrible figure. The transformation isn't the best. But it could definitely be improved on. Again, it's another one that's old. Six, seven years old. It's not a modern figure with modern articulation, all that kind of stuff. And modern transformation, modern aesthetic. And it could use four more paint. If x Boss did it again, they'd be slattered with paint. And I don't think it'd have the same issue with the foot. I think everybody's foot has a, like a floppy foot syndrome. If you pick it up, then the panels that make the foot flop down on it. It's That's really the only problem I have. It's the only real problem I have. That and I think they could make one that looks better. But still, it's the only option out there. And I think you can still pick them up really cheap right now. Okay, we're transitioning into car bots. But I want to show this. I think this is really cool. Somebody out there by the name of Andrew Isaacs has put together this same brochure, but with Hasbro mainline stuff. I thought it'd be a lot of fun to look at, especially kind of getting an idea of where we're at with this whole process and where we're going. So I'm going to lump Blue Streak and I'm going to lump Prowl into one. And we've already talked about this real recently, so we don't have to spend too much time talking about it. But uh, the best option and only option is Takara and it's very old and I feel like their car bots are a little short we have DX9 coming out with theirs you can see in the middle is the most updated picture on the right was the first picture there's a big difference between them because that's how development processes go they change as they're developing their figures and improve them hopefully now there's question of will DX9s be a little bit taller and will the whole car bots range be changed if they are say seven and and a half or eight inches versus where they sit right now with like about six and a half inches something along those lines and with that i would be welcoming that and especially if these are better and look better and just replace them all i'm okay with replacing them but i don't have to replace them but i will tell you guys if you're interested you can get ko's of the takara but this one is not out yet we don't know how long till it's out but probably by the end of the year within a year they should be out that is DX9. Now, as I've said before, I've made videos talking about all of this in the past, but I'm putting this in one video, so I'm just going to use this picture here, which is probably not the best picture, and I apologize for that, but not really. So, I would say Takara is the best. It's the second one from the left. Takara is still the best looking hound. It looks good in both modes. The official one's fragile. I did get the KO, had no problems with the KO, and it feels Every bit is fragile, but it didn't have any issues whatsoever. On the right is Fans Toys, which I think's okay, but the Fans Toys Willis is not my favorite. And then you got on the far left is is it, is it TFC uh, Detective or something like that. And then we've got Gun Dog is the other last one out, third from the left, and that's Make Toys, which a lot of people like. But I recommend Takara hands down. Best looking one. If you get the KO, even better. All right, so right now, if you're wanting to buy an Ironhide or Ratchet right now, if you want to get one right now, the only one you can get is Takara, and I'm not even going to show it. I think it's terrible. From the day they announced it, see, and that's why I've got KOs of the Takaras, because I was like, that looks terrible. I didn't even buy the Takara one when it came out. And finally, when the KO popped up for 40 bucks, I was like, I guess I need one. So I guess I'll buy it. But X Transbots is on the left. Fans Toys is on the right. And neither one are released yet. I think X Transbots will be out first. And we'll get that one first. And then there's Fans Toys on the right. Looking at these, and I've analyzed this. Now I've had weeks, if not a month, to let this sink in. Fans Toys 1 looks like it will win. It does. It does look... I'm still getting the X Transbots. I'm going to give them a fair shake. And I'll have them to compare in hand. But I do feel like Fans Toys is going to win. But will it be three years till it comes out? I don't know. I just know Takara's gone as soon as I get one of these. Next up is Jazz. I just talked about this in the Carbot reboot of two weeks ago. Something along those lines. Anyway, with this, I believe the clear winner is Fans Toys in the middle. But these are three great options. Uh, Make Toys, I would say, is second best, third best. Toy World, Coolsville, same as, same mold Zeta uses. They're the same exact figure. And with that, I would definitely suggest the Fans Toys. They've done a whole lot to clean up that lower leg. And although they'd have the split in the chest, like you're going to see with the DX9, Prowl and all of those, Blue Streak, whatever 
recolors they make with it. This actually is the best looking one to me. And with that, I'll stand by it. But if you can get, say, a Mate Toys one, the Mate Toys for real cheap, then I don't see a problem with it. I think you can pick the Mate Toys one for 50 bucks. And the Toy World one, who knows how cheap you can get that one. Anyway, those are my options, and I pick Fans Toys. Next up is Mirage. This is an old picture because this is just an old picture I've got here, but... Looking at it, I do like the fans toys the most. This doesn't show it in color. Transform Element also is in gray. Both are great options, and fans toys edges it out just a small amount. But I will show something about this till we get these in color, and you can get a little bit better. And I wish I would have kept the original of this before I turned it into a clickbait thumbnail. But on the left is the fans toys and yeah I gotta stop and think for a second on the left is the fans toys and you'll notice it's hard to even see but the the chest behind the front chest plate so the secondary chest the back part of it has got a kind of a blue tint to it the one on the right is transform element they both look fantastic you can't go wrong with either one I still kind of feel like fans toys wins by a small amount 10% 8% but the heft, the paint, and all of that just puts it slightly above sort of a more or less bare-bones plastic transform element, which I still love the look of transform element. And if it's painted, it's painted so well that it doesn't feel painted. It just feels more like plastic. But anyway, both are great options. Transform element, fans toys, fans toys slightly wins. Next is Sideswipe, which is one that we really need a new version of, which is DX9's coming out with theirs. And I feel like I've talked a lot about this lately, so I won't talk about it too much. I never liked Takara's wide chest. I never liked the lower legs being so chunky. But I still didn't care for the way Bad Cubes presented. When it came out, I did not care for it. I didn't pick it up. Finally picked up their Red Alert. I like the Red Alert. But looking at this, their side swipe from DX9 that's on the way looks fantastic. Looks like everything's done right. And it just dawned on me why they're doing these and not Wheeljack and a couple of others jazz because they can repaint these and just put these out six different ones so uh, this one in the prowl at least three and that is smart and that's probably why they're doing it but anyway i would wait for dx9 but if you really want something on your shelf right now a ko of takara's maybe but you'd have trouble offloading that the bad cube i i don't i personally did not care for the aesthetic of the bad cube but so many people do well it was a little bit better than the takara in a way. Still, I'd wait for DX9, and I got mine on pre-order. Feels like we just talked about this in the Carbot reboot. This is uh, another one I'm gonna give uh, credit to the Chosen Prime here for this, and this is a, oddly enough, an extremely old picture. And Takara is the winner here. The one on the left is Omnigonic Spinout, which I picked up for like 45 bucks on clearance because nobody wanted it <laughs> at all. Uh, I heard it's got QC issues and all that. If you're real careful with it and you get it out of the box and you transform it, set it up, it looks nice. So that's that's what I'm going to say. It looks nice. But nowhere near as good as the Takara. The Takara, Takara does have a lot of kibble on the back. There is there is some to it. Be interesting to see if anyone ever does another take on it. But right now, I would get the Takara or the KO of the Takara. I have all three of these, and I feel like Takara's the winner. Next is Trailbreaker and... I'm learning that 84 didn't have a hoist, so a hoist must be 85. So with this, uh, I'm going to sound like a broken record. Can anyone guess what I'm going to say is my pick on this, and that is Fans Toys. Mostly because it cleans up so well, but that doesn't mean it's perfect. I kind of like the way the Takara did the hood to the chest transition. It's just a little bit flatter. The one that you get with the fans toys it protrudes a bit which is weird but that's a small trade-off for the fact that i like the way the legs look and the way the waist meets up to the whole torso and everything and it's not as gappy on the side as this car the, the car one's not bad i feel like he's just a little anemic in the waist area I, I just don't see that character being that anemic in the waist area but if you look at next to the animation i guess you could say that the animation was but then again you don't have a taper of the hood like the animation so it's not perfect nothing's really perfect 
I don't think anybody really would want to match the animation 100%. You'd have to completely re de destroy the hood in the front end and reconstruct it into a V. And yeah, nobody's doing that. Except for maybe Ocular Max did that. I don't know. Anyhow, fan switch for the win. For me, secondary would be Takara. Or Takara's got a KO. Probably get a pretty good price. Next up, we got Takara's Wheeljack. Wheeljack is a good looking one. We could use for an improved one, but I don't feel like he's that bad. I'm not in a huge hurry to say, hey, I need a new Wheeljack. Uh, I did get myself the plus version that has the blue windshield. And I actually had an upgrade kit that I never installed on this one. And so I upgraded, upgraded the upgrade kit that has kind of like blue ear pieces and blue fins, clear, transparent for my plus. I sure have plussed up that plus. But anyhow, this is a decent mold. It's the only option for Masterpiece right now if you want one. And I'm shocked we don't have another option out there. Probably will be coming. Probably because there's not a lot of repaint options other than exhaust but there we go oh now for some seekers uh, if you guys remember i was the guy that was secret out a while back like a year before these came out or maybe a little bit more than a year before these came out sold off pretty much all my seekers and waited for something better and we got two something betters so on the left is takara's 3.0 but they say it's their 2.0 even though it's the third iteration numerically even we got the 03 and then we have the 11 and then now we have uh whatever the, these are i forgot the number but the deformation space on the right to me is the clear winner even though the paint is not to the level of takara takara has a really good paint job on theirs the torso is nice and shiny and i like that but these are a little bit bigger for the deformation space and the aesthetic aesthetic wise they feel more accurate if you look at the thighs on Takara, it's kind of thin and anemic. And if you look on the right there, they just feel proportioned correctly. Now, the transformation on the deformation space is more complicated. Really, it's all about flipping and twisting the wings and a whole bunch of mechanisms all at once. And if you can get that mechan if you can get that flip down just right, the transformation's a breeze. Well, not a breeze, but less annoying. And uh, if you get stuck on that, it feels like you'll never transform it. So that, that's really the problem people have with the deformation space for the most part. And Takara's is pretty relatively straightforward. It's not that big of a, an issue. But I will, I've got both sets and I still stand by it today. I like deformation space the most. Who's going to make cone heads? Who knows? Lastly, the Meloway figure from 84, which I believe, because I looked at three lists here and they, one of the lists talked about this as the Meloway for 84. So I'm going to classify this as Meloway for 84. Spotter from Fans Toys is still the winner. It is extremely dated. Very old. FT11 sounds like it wouldn't be as old as it is, but it's really old. Hard to get. Uh, I would suggest, if you're buying right now, to give the KFC Optic clones. That's what I have on my shelf. I've sold my Spotter up. I think I had two sets, and I sold them. Fund more purchases. I'd rather have three more... Well, you, these are three figures, but I'd rather have three more new Masterpiece Transformers and wait for another Spotter 2.0 to come or something down the road than to keep these. Although they're very nice, they look very accurate. And in hand, you would definitely say, yeah, the Fans Toys is the winner. They're not a winner by a lot. And the KFC Opticlones are pretty nice. And I know Make Toys made a set, but I had those and I only had them for about a month and I had to get rid of those because I just didn't, they didn't do it for me. They're not bad, but they just didn't do it for me. What does it for me? Spotter number one. Number two, KFC. And hopefully, we see a spot or 2.0 in the future. And I want to know what everybody thinks about this list. Do you feel like it's dominated by fans, toys, and third party, and that Takara is not excelling at Masterpiece? Well, guess what? Takara is actually merging the MPG with the Masterpiece. Who knows what that means, but... What I got from MPG so far is that their Raiden combiner does not look like something I'm interested in at all. And if they start going that route with the upcoming Masterpiece, Takara is probably no longer going to be a player in the Masterpiece. But we'll see when this comes out because I think this is going to be great. So we'll see what happens when this 
comes out. We'll see the future of Takara. But what do you think about this list? Like and subscribe. Tell your hanger out.